All right. So, here we are. Uh, today is Saturday, August 28th. It is now 7 p.m. Time to get started. I'm going to take out this earbud because I literally can't. I need to be able to hear myself when I talk because it's like, I don't know. It's weird when you have both earbuds in. Um, okay, how is everyone today? If, uh, people are tuning in. Will be glad, uh, especially the YouTube viewers for this video, that I have done a lot of the prep work already. So this short recipe is going to be even shorter now. Um, so that's that's going to be uh, pretty uh, pretty exciting. Like I, I I'm hoping to go what under 50 minutes total video um, well stream length today. Um, don't know if we'll make it, um, but I don't foresee this taking a long time, especially with how simplistic this recipe is going to be. Um, but yeah, um, I would like to do some announcements first, but I kind of want to wait until middle or end of the stream um, to kind of do that. Uh, just so that I don't have to repeat myself when people start coming in. So, um, without further ado, I'm just going to get started on today's recipe. Uh, let's see. Pause this. Should I post in the chat, in the Epel chat that I'm stream, stream notice. I mean, they kind of like if they look, if people go on the team Epel, they'll know. So I guess we'll see. Yeah, I, I, I'm too lazy to post there. All right. So, um, as you can see, a little bit crooked, but today's recipe is the salmon piccata uh, with some garlic rice and some nice uh, oven-baked broccoli, seems like. Um, garlic rice, interesting. So we're going to be using half of the garlic for the um, salmon and half for the rice, it looks like. I did take a look at the recipe beforehand. So to familiarize myself and basically make less, mis fewer mistakes, you know? Um, but yeah, they say it's going to take 20, 30 minutes. Hopefully it does take exactly that length because I do have work later today. So um, I want to make sure I don't go over on that. All right. So... Um, we're gonna roast the broccoli. Um, we are going to make some lemon juice and some garlic something for later. Um, cook the rice, of course, and the fish, and I guess the... Hmm. Well, I, I don't know. At the end, we're gonna have some kind of sauce, I guess. Where's my hat? Oh, wait. Um... There's a there's a little thing like you can um, you can tell me to put on my hat now like with channel points it's a new feature so like people can tell me to put on or take off the hat and I I, I get to do that is it risotto no there's no risotto okay I have to go put on the hat hold on. Okay. 
<laughs> Alright, I have the hat on. How do I look? Do I look proper now? Here, we can even zoom in on my head if this camera decides to detect my thing. Come on. Like, I don't know how, like, maybe it's the light. Oh, it is the lighting. Hold, hold on. Let's try again. There we go. Now it knows what to do. Alright. <laughs> um, but, I was gonna do, oh yeah, I was gonna show off the, there's, there's no Rosado this week, but you'll be glad to know that Rosado is coming back for next week, because um, dumb me decided to order Rosado. I checked today. All right, our, sal our uh, salmon is right over here. Pretty big pieces, actually. Um, those are huge. Two, two uh, nice slices of salmon right here. Will I be able to finish it all? Like, they usually give me, like, uh, what? Half of that amount, I feel like. Um, but I've done some prep today, as you can see. Garlic is chopped, broccoli is chopped, capers, as well as some golden raisins and lemon is pretty much all we'll need for today's recipe. Oh, there's also some rice over here. I've already gone and washed that. So, we're gonna be real quick today. There is, uh, however, a little bit of lemon that I have to chop now. So we'll go ahead and do that. And they want me to juice all, pretty much all of this, right? Have the lemon and then... Yeah, they want me to juice all of this. So, I'm going to use this thing right here. As well as a strainer just to catch the seeds. It's a huge strainer, I know. Um, but. seeds in this one? <laughs> Wait, I don't think there's any seeds. Yeah, there's no seeds. What are they talking about? Like, pick out the seeds. There's no seeds. But it does smell really good. All right, no seeds. Wasted the use of time. Right here. All right, let's All right, that's our lemon juice. I've gone and preheated the oven to 450 degrees, which is what we'll need for this recipe. Um, we'll be putting the broccoli on that. So, if you come over here, that's our uh, oven sheet. And I will need some olive oil. 
Horizontal bit there. I'm gonna kind of try and spread it around the fork. Let's do some more actually. So, broccoli is now going on here. And of course, we're going to salt and pepper this. To the oven it goes for how long? 14, 15 minutes. Alright, let's keep track of that. It's 712, so it's gonna be 726 approximately when the broccoli is done. All right, after the broccoli, we already got our um, garlic cloves chopped, lemon done. So the next step is to actually do the rice. So I've got rice right here. Rice, we'll just need some of the garlic. We're using half of it, by the way. So like about one clove worth. Um, we also need one, 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 one water, one cup. my water bottle. It sounds like it's storming. Is the, water, is the weather that bad right now? Like we've been getting a lot of uh, rain recently. It's like kind of weird. We don't usually get that much rain, in August especially. Alright, one cup of water. Uh, quite a bit of salt actually. to cook this for 14 minutes as well. So we need to keep track of two times now. All right, so that 
that's on the stove on pretty high heat. Um, right now it is, what time is it guys? It is 7.15. We've got one time tracking right now, which is for 7.26. The other one is for 7.30. I can keep track of that. Next step, next step. Salmon, the exciting one. I would actually like to use a big plate for this. This one's not gonna do. So, you need to, I need to get this salmon cut open, and then put it over here. Do they need to talk in between all these songs? Like, please. It's kind of ob obnoxious. Alright, pat it dry. Season with salt and pepper. I'm not gonna do too much salt on this because um, salmon, I, I feel like I kind of over season a lot of the times. Okay, seasoned, and then we are going over to our pan over here. Off. 
I think I like to use more just because like Gordon likes to do that. Like he always uses a, a shit ton of oil. And I think it works better that way. All right, so. on medium oh almost forgot to include you guys for the sizzle skin side down of course Four minutes on this side, four minutes on the other side pretty much. Let's see, what would be good to use? Tongs? They actually had me use the spatula. I'll try using the spatula, I guess. No, tongs are just easier though. Yeah, tongs. I'll use tongs. All right. We actually don't want to use another pan for the next step when making the sauce because there's going to be some black bits, you know, they, they call it fond or something, and we want to use that. Everything else ready uh, in the meantime. There's going to be capers and some of the remaining chopped garlic and butter and lemon juice. Let's open the capers. Oops. Why? Why did my echo like activate at that time? Like, did it hear the trigger word? Did I even say something close to that? I don't think so. I use a higher heat for this, but they kind of want me to have it like right in the middle. Lightly brown is what they want. Our rice is almost going to be done though. right now. I, actually, I'll do it at the end, uh, just in case people end up doing, uh, watching this on YouTube, so if they um, go to the end, they can see all of the updates and stuff for this week. time ready to flip. I'll give it like one more minute. Okay, well it's actually been one more minute. Let's 
check the... It's not even like really brown though. How do they want this to look like? I think the important uh, side will be the top though, because that's how we're serving it. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a flip. Guess we didn't need that much oil. Cause like the if I put in less oil, um the the skin would have been crispier. Cause the oil would have like kind of sizzled off at this point. So I will uh make a note of that for next time. Alright, let's check on the uh rice. See how we did. Rice is done. this with uh, open air so it kind of dries up a little bit. Uh, was it the rice? Actually the rice was supposed to uh, what stay in here until 30 right? It's the broccoli. I kind of mistimed it then. I'll put the cover back on and we gotta take the broccoli out of this point. Okay, good thing I didn't leave the broccoli in for too long, because our broccoli is definitely done. There's how it looks. I need to start getting the plate ready. As for the plate, I do want to kind of add it in the oven a little bit so it's hot. Oh yeah, it's a fish hat. Zang, uh, Zang Corey redeemed the uh, channel points for that. You can redeem the pig on and off fish hat thing. Alright, 728, so uh, around two minutes for both actually for both the rice and the salmon. The raisins are going to be going in the rice as well. So... Those are Get a plate ready to put the salmon on. It's storming, it's about to storm. I hope the power does not go out. It would be really bad. Like, just please, no. Not today. Alright, 7.30. Take a look. 
Oh yeah, that's good. Be good here. Oh yeah, so there's gonna be a little bit residual. We're going to use this to cook the next step. Which is um, capers. Remaining garlic. And this is going to be really quick, so I want to get the butter ready. I don't really like capers though. It's kind of a weird ingredient. I actually want me to taste this. It's pretty sour. Um, we can pepper it up. But does it need more salt? I guess we can do a little bit. don't want this on the heat at all anymore, so I'm going to move it and then move this one over. Alright, and so we begin the plating process. 
We're not going to even hit the hour mark today because that's how pro I am. switch over here as I uh, try to do this. Does the camera go down? I guess it does. But I kind of have to bend down for that. Oh, this is going to look pretty nice, in my opinion. All right. I do need to take a picture of this finished product before we can show it on stream. Because it does look pretty nice. And it's going on Instagram. get this lighting to work. There we go. Okay, you guys ready? Here 
there we go. There is our finished product right here. Let's see, how can I do this without cutting off? Ah, well, you know. All right, shall we give it a little taste? On top is the capers with some butter and lemon sauce, I guess. Broccoli tastes real nice. I don't know, who can hate broccoli? No, I still don't like capers, but it's on the recipe. Did I overcook the salmon? I wonder. I think with the salmon, I usually undercook it because I like to take it out early. Okay. I mean, it's still kind of weird. Like, I still prefer like an actual like kind of sauce, but it's pretty good. It's like, it's like having a, like a salt bomb on top of your uh, salmon, which is pretty interesting, I think. Because I actually didn't salt the salmon that much this time. Oh, god damn it, I dropped it. Yeah, exactly. So why not just use fish eggs, you know? But, you know what? I really like this these kind of simplistic meals. Because they don't try too hard to, like, add so many weird ingredients like yesterday. Salmon is a little bit over, actually. Not gonna lie there. It's good. I mean, um, I think for the recipe, there's a couple things I would change. I would probably top salmon over um like kind of like an alfredo style kind of um noodles and stuff with some of that sauce over it i think that would taste really good but other than that simple recipe tastes pretty good i've got another salmon there waiting for me so i'm gonna have to finish that um so oh yeah 
I'm gonna I have to do announcements because this is the last uh, day I'm streaming for this week. So, um, there's actually quite a few things happening on Discord tonight. Hopefully, if I don't get overworked, um, there's going to be a ticket system, which I know, I know, that's gonna sound like all boring and stupid, but like it's absolutely necessary because uh, roll assignments and stuff like that. But it's gonna be really easy to use. Like actually, like you just click buttons and stuff, and that's that's it. Like you type in shit, and like it's like you don't even have to use like commands and stuff to like create a ticket. Like it's really simplistic to use. So I'm gonna use that for uh, roll assignments, especially for people who don't have Discord integrated with their Twitch, so they can't get certain roles, um, and for like other issues. Um, food channels coming soon, so that's gonna include like uh, recipe pictures, like any suggestions, stuff like that, as well as like just random food pictures. Like, come on, like we, we still have don't have like a, f a food channel. Obviously, that's gotta be in there. Um, there's going to be, I don't know how I'm gonna do the permissions for this because I kind of want this kind of privatize a little bit because um, I don't want like everyone to be able to see it um, there's going to be a channel for all the people who are interested in uh, you know those stonks because um, that's getting hot lately uh, so it's not gonna be like where like I tell you what to buy but like there's gonna be like some information in there from what I've gathered and stuff like that um, so like I, I'm I'm not an expert. Like I majored in economics, but like, let's just face it. Like, they don't teach you shit in that major. Um, and music bots are not coming tonight, but that's what I'm working on. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Please enjoy the rest of your weekend. Next week, uh, there will be streams again at the same time. I actually get two days off next week. No, not the music. You don't want the music bots? Like, they'll, they'll kind of sit in the channel of their own. and just play music all the time. I don't know how else to get people to join the Discord. Now, two days off and then Labor Day. So like, that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, that's five total. That's gonna be so juicy, I can't wait. Like, I could go somewhere, like Arizona. Yeah. I don't know, because literally, okay. These are the, these are the people that I've met. They're, they're like, oh, I missed your stream. I missed your stream because I didn't get the notification. I'm like, well... There is the Discord that has a bot that pings you every time I stream. So, it, like, if you really want to watch the stream, then you can always join the Discord. But then they never join the Discord, right? So, I don't know what's really up with that. Like, I try to make it so that it's really minimalistic if you want it to be. Like, you can just not assign yourself any role, and the Discord will only be, like, a couple channels long. If you assign yourself every role, then the Discord's gonna be huge. Well, you have to... First, you have to make sure you have notifications turned on. Second, you have to actually get the role, like, uh, push notifications, because Here's the thing, the channel is available, I want to make it available to all, 
but the actual ping like that's going to be optional right some people they don't want to get ping so i made a role specifically for that so you actually have to assign yourself that role to get ping but yeah can we visit benji is it two weeks yet Mods on Twitch will also get a Twitch mod role on Discord. I don't know what access they'll be getting because it's like kind of separated. Um, but there is a Twitch mod role. Um, it actually has auto assigned already with Nightbot. I don't know how that works, but I'll have to check into that. Uh, apparently, there's a way to get it auto assigned, but I think for people who don't have their Twitch connected, It'll be a manual thing with the ticket this, uh, system that gets released later. All right. We've hit the hour mark of me just talking for the last couple of minutes. So I'll go ahead and finish this. And that's good. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll actually go. All right. Once again, thanks for tuning in. All the lurkers in chat, thank you as well. I know you're there. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next week.